All right, for shallow well pump operations, it's been a year since uh, I've had it in use. And I put this in last year, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 months ago. And a viewer asked, and it works great. I didn't have to do anything, just turn the pump on and run power to it. But a viewer asked how much power is drawn upon startup of the pump. Well, we're going to find out. I got the power turned off inside of the solar pavilion. We'll just let this... Okay, that's all the pressures out of the tank. That's the blue tank down there, but all the pressures out of it. I'm going to close this off. And then we're going to go back and turn power on at the inverter. Power will come up here to the pump and we'll be able to see just how much power is being drawn on that shallow well pump at startup. Collecting solar energy, but I'm doing some work inside of the power station, doing a little painting, so I got things out. But let's just take a look at the power of the inverter upon startup. Let's see if I can keep this real steady. Wow, that was about all the way up to the top two bars. I think there was two bars that were not lit. So on startup, if we go two bars down here on my graph, uh, the third bar is 1,500 to 1,600 watts, and it was definitely solid. So 1,600 watts at startup. Now that 1,600 watts is only momentary and only at startup of the pump. The continuous power that is used is about five bars, four and a half, five bars, so about 900 watts. Once the pump's pressure tank has reached 50 PSI, current is shut off to the motor until needed again. All right, so 1600 watts, it's on startup for the shallow well pump, which is working great. Watch more DIY solar power right here with ATL Solar Trek and Atlantic Drain.